We are going to learn how to apply Premiere Pro's iconic bass shake effect to take your edits to a new level. Your viewers will literally be head banging to their screens with this effect. Listen to your clip first to identify those juicy bass sounds. Click the letter M on the keyboard to place a marker on each one. To put it simply, we are creating a base map for our effect. On our timeline, make an adjustment layer beginning at the first base marker. After that, head to the effects panel and look for directional blur. Drag the effect to your adjustment layer. Time to give it some wobble. Choose a blur length between 30 and 50 in the directional blur options based on the strength of the shake you want. You can select the direction of the shake with directional blur. A head banging vibe can be achieved by trying horizontal or vertical for a traditional bass bang. Adjust the settings until you achieve your sweet spot. Using the razor tool, trim your adjustment layer at each frame. In short, this breaks your blur into little bits. Want more bed shakes? Just make copies of your edited adjustment layer and paste them to the other base markers on the timeline. For a brief shake, just keep 3 to 5 frames. Add more for a longer, groovier wobble. Choose each other frame in your broken adjustment layer and press the delete key. The rhythmic shake effect is created by repeating blur bursts. Instant earthquakes in your edit caused by the bass. Alright bass friends, there you have it. That's how to apply Premiere Pro's iconic bass shake effect. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more editing tips and tricks. Until next time, Kwaheri. Oh.